Hello there everyone. This is Iron Mark 3 and welcome back to Excessive Gun Selling Simulator 2021. Yes. No. Welcome back to Mecha Knight's Nightmare. As you can see, I am just selling excess weaponry that I have no need for, really. So Yes, we'll get to that in just a second. Just uh the yeah, I'm using the outfit 150s on the arms at the moment, so sorry, shoulders. There we go, so I don't need that one. Extra guns, extra missiles, extra boom booms, all this stuff. So yeah, as you can tell, I have revisited some of the missions between the last episode and this one. So I picked up some more loot and things. I think I'll take yeah, I'll go with that one. Go with the Vulcan. I also experimented with some of the other weapons and equipment we've got lying around, so, you know, I, I know what I've got, how it kind of works. I think that's all of it, yep, there we go, right. I've not done the mech parts yet, though, have I? Um, but I did that. Uh, I also got a comment on the last part about how apparently my bitrate is actually pretty low for the definition of video, so thank you very much for that comment. Um, one second. For that comment, Lone Chipmunk. Um, I didn't realize this, but um, apparently my bitrate is set to what I was using when I was streaming, so... You know. Oh, so many Antioch parts. Well, that's what you get for replaying the first couple of missions as a benchmark test. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, well, it's, it's more money, I suppose, so it's goes into more upgrades. But yeah. Um, a, my bitrate was set to 2500 because that's what let me stably stream at 720p on my connection when I was actively streaming. And apparently that setting had carried over... Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Eh, it's the same... It's the same part anyway. But yeah, um, it was 2,500. Recommended for a video at 720p is 4,000 bitrate. And recommended for a 1080p, which is what I rendered my videos to, by the by, is a whopping 8,000. So yeah, I was using this game to benchmark and also grind for some extra parts and things, which is why I've got uh, a sudden excess of bits to throw into things. Don't need that one yet. Um, as, a, as a note, by the way, I, because of that, I've also learned a bit more about the game systems and yada yada. Like the fact that um, I was wondering last time about if there's some random generation going on in the different parts. There is not. Uh, I I say that, and the moment I do, I find an IA2 with which is with a slightly higher energy consumption. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, hang on. Oh, oh, that might be an effect from mech upgrades, I guess. I don't know why. As soon as I mount the IA2, it says the equipped item has slightly higher energy use. <clears throat> oh, I know what it is. I think it's because we're slightly over mass, actually. Energy efficiency, is, effective speed reduced, energy consumption is... Um, yeah, so our load is not quite up to the task, so that might be what's modifying it. But yeah, we do have more parts to swap around, so you know, that's fine. Epiroth, Epiroth. So I guess it only shows up on certain parts, more than anything else. If a part has a stat which is being modified, which is honestly a bit of an odd design choice, I don't like it that much, but <clears throat> eh, if it's a thing that's going on, then what can you do? What can you do? But as you can see, though, we do have plenty of choices. Except for one thing I'd like to know, which is like the head part. Uh, I feel like the Antioch A1A, it might be slightly overpowered. Because looking at the stats on the heads, as I was trying to work out the different effects and the um, characteristics of them, it's like, why would I ever use an Epiroth 1 over the Antioch? The Antioch just flat out better in every way, even though it's a tier 0. And then there's this one here, which is like worse in nearly every way, except for like max lock-on limit, but it's like... Again, why would I want to use it really... <coughs> excuse me. Really, unless the maximum lock-on limit is absolutely vital to me. 
Same with this one. Slightly better targeting. I don't even know what targeting does, even though I've tried to figure it out. It's just like, eh? Question mark? The only side grade is the Kuroboshi I've got at the moment, which is like better radar, better lock-on limit, better targeting, but quite a bump in NG requirements and all that stuff. So I was like, why would I want to use any of these headpieces? The, the game's balance, I think, needs a, a bit of a look at. Still, we've got more parts to try and figure out. Like, we've got some heavier parts around here. Like, we've got these um, siege parts, multi roll We've got an interceptor part, whatever that is. Um, much higher NG cap and NG regen. Ooh, much better cooling. In fact, the other torso doesn't give me any cooling bones at all. That is nice. For a cost of 1,000 mass and 100 less hit points. I think I want that one. Oh, look at that. More streamlined. <laughs> I like. Okay. Moving on. Bunch of heavy arms is all I've got. I like the Gundam heavy arms, but this is not that particular situation, so... For overall performance, the Epiroth is the best I've got, I think. In terms of, well... I say best for what I'm looking for, I should probably say. Which is, I want to try and get this thing's mobility up. I want to boost the NG, because the boosters are a matter of life and death in this game. So, you know... Full disclosure, I tried replaying missions 3 and 4 a couple of times, and I died in those. So the fact I made it through last time I was recording was a complete fluke. Um, I think I'll just get rid of those boosters there. But what I want is... Better stats in general. Like, that one's NG use is slightly higher, but booster speed plus 1. Plus 1, of course, is very, very minor, so... I think I might take this one, minus 100 energy cap, but it does give me a plus 3 for a very, very slight increase in energy use. And it has less mass, which for some reason is marked as red. Oh well. So yeah, now I've, got, now I've got a quintet booster array on my back. Aha! Take that. Also, swapping out these parts has actually dropped my load considerably. That is good. That means my I'm no longer being penalized for being too heavy. Heavy, medium, medium. Um, oh, that's the same one. Sell that. A bit more hit points. A bit less walk speed. Less, less. Don't really have any legs to swap in. Okay, right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, I did warn you, I think, in the last episode or so. Like, um, if I get into the mech bay, it's like, Wee, I'm going to poke around and customize this thing. And it's like, yeah, I did warn you. Well, here we are. Anyway, shotgun. Amazing up close. Love it. Um, it's actually... I'm kind of grown on me a little bit, but I still really like to go, um, her, 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 me, gonna go, burt effect of the Gatling cannon on the other arm. Speaking of, I actually got a better Gatling gun from somewhere. Um, I think I picked up in the last episode, actually. Uh, the A1B, which has slightly higher damage. So I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Very nice, yes. So, maintain that as a rapid fire gun. We do kind of want to swap around a little bit though, don't we? And try and figure out some of the other weapon systems. Like, we've got these different rifles. We've got. Um... I'll be honest, actually. This game seems to favour, like, rapid fire weaponry and AOE over high. just high alpha single shot things, like the. Uh, Sniper rifles down here, I mean, sure I'd be tempted to try and take the sniper rifle along, but the sheer quantity of enemies actually makes me very reluctant because of the, um, you know, I kind of want to be able to like just like go, ooh, crowd of enemies, let's kill them all. So maybe a bazooka would be a better choice. Oh, we've got a better bazooka as well. Ooh, a tier one. So that's what that tier one is. Let's blow bazooka. <laughs> Maybe. Don't want to fully load out on explosives, though, I must admit. Five hundred range. Blast area of 18 meters. That's almost... That's really high, actually. What's, what's the thing on my shoulders? Let's check my shoulders. Shoulders, blast area is... Oh, yeah, really high as well. So I guess it's... It depends on the version of the gun. So that said, I am considering swapping out some of the shoulder weapons just so you can see some of the other stuff. Uh, oh, there is a cannon. Blast area is minor. Damage, really high. 
fair chunk of ammo in that. <laughs> Should we just go all, all, all high explosives for this one? Let's let's do all explosive. Let's do all high explosives. Let's get um, another cannon out for the Gatling gun there. So double cannons. Yes, that's fine. Shoulders. I mean, we've got the bazookas here, but um, triple fire bursts. I looked at the Vulcans actually to figure out how they worked, and they are actually fairly decent. They don't allow direct fire burst damage like these guys do, but I've got my cannons for that, so maybe I'll just bring the Vulcans. Sure, you have to be a bit careful with you, where you aim them, but the thing is, they actually, they say rocket launchers, they do have semi-guided mode, actually, so if you target, if you if you lock onto an enemy with that, the missile will, sorry, yeah, it is a missile, because it'll lock onto the enemy and crash down where they are meant to be, so fun times for them I suppose but it's also got like it's a big burst of fire it's just explosive it's all that kind of stuff so let's move on um right leg we've got we found ourselves a energy generator sure I'll strap a highly valuable and probably potentially explosive energy generator to my leg that sounds good look at that you've got a blue glowy light on it I'm sure that won't draw the enemy's at attacks at all hmm the other side, do I want that, or what's our health at? Health is 5,555. That was a complete accident. Um, we have acquired a better version of the steel plates we're using for... Well, I, I say better. Because we've got uh, an ammo container on there at the moment. So we could fit steel plates. Oh, that does clip slightly. Yeah. I'm going to go for extra mag. Then shoulders... We've got some options here. I admit I have actually tried the sentry guns. They deploy a sentry gun, which is can get damaged, but it's once you deploy it, it costs you like twenty dollars off your end mission. Like the end of mission, you can deploy six of them. But they are more of an annoyance to the enemy hordes than anything else, this version, because they they're effectively like the shots from the APCs that were running around. Or the helicopters and things like that. So it's like not massively useful. No AOE. Slow rate of fire. Ultimately, I don't really see the point in these things as they stand. They just seem really, really weak. They, I mean, they struggle to kill even a basic enemy. So, you know, it's not, not the best. I could go with lights. If it's a night mission coming up. But we, we have got night vision in one of our active slots, though. And I have been using that, and it's actually really effective. So I think I'll, I'll forego the, the big floodlights. But instead, I will go with... Well, Cracked Your Gun is a neat little thing, just like an extra cannon. An ex a supporting gun for your arm, but I'm using cannons, so not the best. I'll go with... Let's get some... What's on my other shoulder? Battery pack, isn't it? Yeah, extra, extra battery. I want to keep that. I'll, I'll go for the big armor plates. Extra 325 hit points. Oh, wait, no. There's this one. Extra 1,000 hit points. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's like a big... Uh, I'm building a fortress here, it seems like. Fear me. So let's check our weight. Our weight is still okay. That's good. That's good. Next up. Slot A... Slot 1 is, of course, the resupply. I'm okay with that. Slot 2 is our night vision. That means we've got an extras of those. We can sell those. Speed booster. 30% boost of speed for 30 seconds. So, flat out mobility increase. Maybe, but I want to hang on to the other stuff if possible. Plus, there's the fact I'll probably forget to use them. So, you know. <laughs> Last up, passive modules. We've got the uh, X1 energy generator. We've got some extra armor plating we can mount. We've got some extra battery packs. We've got some afterburners. What's the afterburner do? Increased movement speed using boosters. Extra boost of speed plus 3. NG is plus 0.2. Tempting. So, yeah. That te tempting that. The NG requirement of minus 1, 0.12 is actually really low. We've got extra cooling packs, and we've got an extra battery pack as well we could fit into there. Maybe. 
And I know, I've spent like 15 minutes now in the mech bay, just like poking around and going, hmm, hmm, maybe, hmm, yes, hmm, yes. But I did say we'd start this this particular part going back over this, so I will get an extra passive slot, which will let me fit, I think, I'm going to go with the afterburners actually. But we can also get um, upgrades to these. Aiming, don't know. Cooling, only occasionally an issue. Precision, <laughs> I have not relied on precision yet, have I? So who cares? Booster speed, walker speed. Energy regen, armor. Don't really care about the armor. It's, it's the energy boosts I really want. Or I could go for an extra module slot. Mm, let's go for... Actually, let's go for the extra generator upgrade. 1,200 for the plus an extra 0.5. Uh, you know what, sure, let's continue to focus mobility. I mean, this, is, this isn't going to come back and bite me in the behind, is it? I also got extra speed on the boosters too. There we go. Solid! Right! Sorry about that, that's 15 minutes of just me just poking around in the mech bay. <laughs> I'm a mech head, what do, you, what do you expect? Anyway, moving on. We could go for the camo breakthrough. There's also there was also no feedback on if anyone wanted to actually have the look at the diaries or anything like that. So, try to lay the enemy and helps friendly forces seize them with backup from the air. There's also something else that cropped up called raids. Oh, survive near never-ending waves of monsters, gather new items, get rewarded with cash, and needed for upgrades. Call for an evacuation and retreat with your items, or die and lose all of them. So, that, so there's like a survival mode in here, apparently. Mm. Maybe I'll show that later. Maybe. Massive blade of show. Okay, so yeah, it is like a, a big thing giving some background on the character. What does Border Patrol say? Lucky... Okay. So, yeah, if you want me to go through those and actually read them out, again, let me know, I suppose. We'll see. But right now, we need to get a mission, otherwise this entire episode will just be, like, logistics and stuff, and we're already almost at 20 minute mark. So... One mission here. Northern Swarm, Southern Swarm. So, things are going to heck in a fancy paper hat, apparently. Who knows what's going to happen. All I know is, I'm bringing explosives. <laughs> oh, bother, I forgot to include something into that uh, equipment slot. Whoops. Ah, well. I'm sure I'll be fine. I mean, um, I forgot. I didn't quite tinker with my um, mech as far as I could. I feel so ashamed of myself now, but, hey, eh? <laughs> could be a lot worse. I mean, I'd probably have much amount an extra 300 battery pack or something into the back there, so... It, it doesn't matter that much at the end of the day. So, let's see what's happening. Echo 7, abandon your current assignment and redeploy to Sector Bravo. New intel indicates that the swarm has deviated from its expected course. The 5th Mechanized needs your help immediately. Echo 8 is engaged with the enemy on another front. I'm sending in Lieutenant Mia Ryan to act as your temporary wingman. She will be designated Ghost 2. Lieutenant Ryan, huh? I remember her from the Academy. Excellent shot. Top of our class, actually. Indeed. I'm happy to let you know her skills haven't deteriorated. Move out, Echo 7. On the double. Copy that, Command. Echo 7 moving out. I'm noticing like a plus 20 to my increased booster speed after all those upgrades, so... I'm pleased to say tuning the mech has definitely improved my movement speed. Ooh, I can almost hit 200 if I use the uh, the uh, full power boosters. But of course, that still depletes energy rather quickly. Echo 7, this is the USS Langley. We have several Panthers on station, ready to deliver some heavy air support should you need it. Once called, they will fly over your position and attack the enemy. Out. Duly noted. I also like, like how this red cloud is like, hmm, something might be happening here. But yes, of course, I am wandering around just picking up items because, you know, it's a bit of a looter game. We need to get the shinies. 
Looks like we're going to be holding that town though, so... Doesn't sound like anything's actually spawned, but being able to hear the horde in the background is actually yeah. Uh... Oh, press tab for S. Wait, is there actually? Oh, there, there is actually fighting going on. Oh, they are actually here. Right. Whoops. I should probably go and give them a hand. Oh yeah, um, also quick note, comment from Happy Afer. Uh I checked the options and I'm afraid there is nothing I can do with regarding uh, the graphic that pops up when uh, I actually take damage. So that's something that's just like a thing, unfortunately. But yeah, as you can see this rocket pack does things, it's just... It's not very good at um, Well hello there. About time I let like that shine on a showdown. Oh, here's a hand here if you aren't too busy. I can always find time for you, Lieutenant. Like Get rid of these red bastards first. Then we'll take it from there. You bet. I'm on it. Yeah, something. I miss my Gatling guns. A lot. I'm here. Hello, how are you? Yeah, I really miss the Gatling guns. I'm going to swap back as next mission. <laughs> But yeah, rocket pods, as you see, long range areas and all kind of thing, they... Let's actually call it back. Up. The supply helicopter will soon arrive at the drop site. So I point it, basically I trigger it, it starts locking on where my cursor is pointed, Commander, be it ground or... We lost a quarter of our men. Oh, there's some big boys coming. So that they just like, um, oh my. The Bradley is fucked. It's down. Okay, let's actually call an air support run. This is Echo Seven. I need heavy ordnance on my designation. How copy? Solid copy. <sighs> I'm, I'm ground shooting, expecting the, the blast to be bigger, but of course with giant mechs, it's gonna be kind of oops, smallish. Okay, so what's that going to do? Oh, big old brush. How did you get so good at shooting? Don't you know the old saying? What? Guns are a girl's best friend. No, the saying is cannons are a girl's best friend. No, wait, no, no, no. The saying is, uh, please don't demonetize me. Well, actually, I'm not monetized anyway. It's another wave. Get ready to squash these pets. Bitches love cannons. That, that's the uh, saying. Thank you, Helsing, for that very memorable saying. And, ooh. Uh, yeah, so it, I, I trigger it. It deploys a whole bunch of lock-ons over time as each one launches. And then if it's a, a monster, they track. If it's ground, they just hit where the target mark was. Oh, that's a big one. Hope he enjoys missiles. Oh, there's another one. Oh dear. You know, this might actually be worse than I thought it would be. Um, okay. Is 
least I'm not taking too much damage right now. There is that, I suppose. Though, yeah, I'm, I'm finding myself... I don't, don't, don't say that. It was a point blank shot with a flipping cannon. It's not that accurate or impressive. I hope that tank will be okay. <laughs> oh well, it was already dead. Who cares? Shells just get intercepted mid flight. Might have done. I'm sorry, I'm too focused on trying to... Yeah. I'm going to call in another air support, actually. Supply helicopter is on the way. It will and the yes, let's call in some air support, too. This is Echo 7. Commence bombing run at designated target. Understood. Commencing bomb run. Uh, <coughs> yeah, that, that point is making me want to change sides, by the way. I know you monster trying to tear me apart, but can I join you guys, please? The cheese is real on this side of the of the firing line. I must admit. Yes, I am. I, that was a serious request. Can I please, please get away from the cringy bit? <laughs> As I said, my maneuverability is definitely much, much better. Except the fact that these guys work, I think. I think I misaligned some of that. Oh no, they're just really tough. There we go. Yeah, I miss my rapid fire cannons. Oh jeez, there's a whole bunch of them. Right. What kind of mission is this? Bombing run. On my mark. Solid copy. Panthers inbound. How many enemies are there? What's going on? Well, I, mean, I guess this is why they give us the option of heavy air support, I <laughs> suppose. No, this seems pretty accurate. This is just the beginning. I kind of wonder where they got all the biomass for this. Actually, no. I, maybe that's the kind of thing that's not safe for YouTube. Oh, these cannons are forcing me to actually be semi-accurate. The mobilizing allied forces are meeting heavy resistance. ETA has been delayed. Keep the enemy occupied. Do not let them disengage. Copy that, Command. We'll give them all we got. At least one good news today. I was over here checking for loot. There is none. Okay, let's pursue. Another thing that Happy Ape said is um, the, the splats when you actually kill these guys is very satisfying. And it, it is. Very, very satisfying. Admit he's a bit gory, but just, just a ooh, that thing is a very nasty enemy thing. Splat, it's not a problem anymore. Also, I wish this thing wasn't in the middle of the drop zone. Why are you here? Oh, just call my air support. That's fine. I need air support immediately. Roger that. 
Keep your head down. I guess I'll, I'll mention something about um, other mechanics, which is... If you recall, I was confused about like the cash drops and things in this game. Um, I And my replaying has given me a bit more clarity on that one. Go away! Right. Here are more of them. Um, for what I can tell, a Echo seven. Be advised that radar and satellite units report abnormal readings from your area. Unidentified signatures are heading directly towards your position. Oh no! Another signatures? new enemy. Oh, oh, what the fuck is that thing? Uh, Ethan. I see it. Brace yourselves. This can't be good. Oh. Oh no. Man, that thing is ugly as hell. Oh no. You gotta be shitting me. What okay, right. That? It's firing guided projectiles. How is this even possible? I'm caught. I'm saying corrupted back right that. now. You just worry about blowing it to fucking pieces for now. But yeah, for now, yeah, let's worry about blowing it to pieces. Insane. What the fuck are we even doing here? Just nuke these things in this nightmare once and for all! We think a new gate burst this is though. Echo 7. I need heavy ordnance on my designation. How copy? Solid copy. Air support incoming. Right. So, money pickups, um, by default, the ones you pick up um, around the map are 100. From the normal ones you get from the enemies are fifty dollars, so that's why I was a bit confused about the amount. We have encountered a new type of enemy. It fires what seems to be highly advanced guided ballistics. Please advise on the course of action. Over. Copy that, Echo Seven. We're getting similar reports from other areas. Objective remains the same. Keep drawing attention to yourself. Confirm. Over. This is Echo Seven. Acknowledge command. Holding position. Out. Are you kidding me? These things are evolving? Maybe they've been saving it. There are ace in the hole. Do you think these things are capable of that? I don't know what to think anymore. Yeah, I don't know either. Anyway, yeah. Um, last thing I was going to say before the radio shot cut in was... Maybe... The, um... Echo 7, this is command. Nearby forces regrouped and are ready to support you. Change position to Sector Charlie immediately. Goes to Echo Seven. You've heard the lady. We're what the hell was that? What was that? Giant thing. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. Maybe pickups from bigger enemies give you more cash. Is what I was trying to say there, but uh, who knows? The main thing I know is these cannons were forcing me to slow down my attack quite a bit, and the AOE trade versus the DPS I think was not worth it, given the size of their splash damage. The rockets. Definitely useful bombardment tools, but because of how they lock on to the targets, like actually how you, I guess, laser designate them, they really don't work well up close. So, long range really for those things. Anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. We got a new active module, some bits and bobs. We didn't get much money, but, uh, yeah. We survived that. Also, I will note that we did go over the half hour mark, and, um, well, I'm going to try and listen to a comment which is like, um, I would have to apologize for that. Which is something I was doing, but I think that's a sign of a part of my depression shining through, so it's like, yeah, I'm going to try not to apologize for that because it's, it's a target rather than a rule, I think is the thing. And it shouldn't, it sh I shouldn't be treating it as like a be-all, end-all, you must do this thing, or else heretic, kind of thing. <laughs> so, who knows. But yeah, unfortunately that one epic mission, which is like, no, not too bad, like 12 minutes in there, is all we've got time for with the amount of time we spent in the mech bay. So, this has been Iron Mark 3, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the show, and I'll catch you all some other time. Mm. See you all later.